Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Bible Illustrated Hands. Uh, today's question comes from Shant Ekian. Uh, he asks, uh, have you ever heard of Vladimir Solovyov? He was a Russian Orthodox philosopher who lived in the 19th century. Some of his theology was a little wacky, but he did write some interesting philosophy, including something he wrote called A Short Tale of the Antichrist. Have you ever heard of him? If so, what are your thoughts on him? Also, I would like to uh, supplement this question with... Uh, uh, a question from one of my most loyal subscribers uh, who asked um, uh, uh, who asked uh, uh, how to deal with uh, phobia and anxiety induced uh, by the Antichrist's imminent coming. Uh, thank you for your question, guys. Um, I'll try to answer uh, both of these. First of all, I've heard of Vladimir Soloviev. But I haven't uh, read anything of him but the short tale of the Antichrist, uh, or the short story of the Antichrist, depending on the translation. Um, I think it is a really good book. Um, it tells the tale of, well, surprise, the Antichrist, and um, how he offers orth uh, the Orthodox, uh, the Catholics and the Protestants, uh, he offers each group a bunch of things that each group craves uh, to the uh, in order for for them to accept his authority. Uh, he offers uh, Protestants a Bible college. Uh, he offers the Orthodox um, um, uh, an icon museum uh, uh, that's also devoted to restoration of old icons. And uh, I, I can't remember what he offers to the Catholics, but some sort of Gregorian university or something, if I recall correctly. And the majority of each group act, uh, accepts the, the Antichrist. Uh, however, the Pope does not accept the Antichrist. Uh, one, Russian, uh, one Orthodox Patriarch uh, also doesn't. I can't remember which one, whether he's a Russian Patriarch or Ecumenical Patriarch. And um, <clears throat> an eminent professor of uh, Biblical theology also uh, rejects the Antichrist. So, uh, true Christians, who are now a vast majority, uh, flee Antichrist's vials, and, um, and practic uh, they practically unite uh, over, uh, over, you know, their defiance of the Antichrist. And I think it's a, you know, it's a good, uh, um, it's a good um, story. Uh, it is available online. I will post the link to it in the pinned comments. Um, this is the only thing I have read of him, so I will only comment on that uh, that one. Um, uh, you know, uh, one of the things that uh, uh, some person in the chapel that attended uh, told uh, to our priest was uh, that there is a prophecy that all Christians will unite uh, during their struggle against Islam. And the priest said, uh, well, it is tragic that we will unite against Islam and not in Christ. And uh, I think that is a true sentiment. However, we also know, especially from the Old Testament, <laughs> that God is not above using such methods, because every time people stopped following the law in the Old Testament, uh, God would send uh, uh, Gentiles to conquer, uh, to conquer the Jews, and thus, uh, in a way make them remember with whom they have entered into an eternal covenant. Uh, some of my other thoughts uh, on this issue. Uh, there, there is quite a lot of people, you know, who fear the Antichrist's imminent coming. And uh, there, is, uh, there is a lot of orthodox uh, um, apocalyptic lit literature Mind you, definitely not as much as in some evangelical circles. And this, uh, this literature does not, uh, you know, um, uh, this literature does not, um, you know, predict dates or anything. But it has, you know, quite a lot of info on the Antichrist supposed uh, coming. Um, now, Personally, I despise this sort of literature because it is pure fear-mongering, nothing more, nothing less. Rebuking the Antichrist is very simple. You don't accept anything permanent on your forehead or your right hand, and that is all you need um, in order to avoid the, um, the mark of the beast. Now somebody will say, 
uh, but Boyan, uh, you know, the Antichrist will deceive even the uh, even the, the elect, and that is true, and that is why, my siblings in Christ, I am so opposed to monarchy, because uh, uh, Orthodox people who are anti-monarchy aren't really that pro-republic, pro-democracy, and so on. However, they, by when I say they, I also mean me, dread uh, the uh, secular power that um, when it gets wielded by the church, because if you can't cha you can't change human hearts with uh, with secular power, like not not a single not a single heart, and. Uh, if there's ever going to be a literal historic antichrist, he will definitely be the future foretold the Russian Tsar. Because if he's, you know, a Jew who's spewing fire and uh, is lame in one leg and such similar nonsense that uh, uh, some supposed prophecies say, <laughs> he will deceive no one. Like, he wouldn't deceive uh, uh, the most ra ra rabid atheist. Like, uh, okay, this guy literally looks like a, uh, like a Bond villain. Uh, there's really <laughs> no reason, like, at all to trust him. But uh, if he is the supposed anticipated defender and restorer of orthodoxy, well, uh, he might just as well not be as nearly as holy as you anticipate him to be. So, uh, as regards to phobia, don't read such things. Don't read such nonsense that... Uh, the mark of the beast is in the uh, in the chip or something. Now, the mark of the beast might as well be a chip. I don't know. But, you know, uh, it's not a chip in the document because the revelation is very clear. It is in the right hand or on the forehead. So, so you literally have nothing to fear. By the way, uh, when, the, uh, when prophecies such as these became popular in orthodoxy, uh, which was, you know, late 90s, there was this uh, supposed talk about this supercomputer that's kept in Brussels called the Beast, that contains the information on every, everyone, everywhere, and there were pictures of it, and this, it was this huge machine that looked very obsolete even by the standards of late 90s. Like, even then I comment, like, there's no way this is real, come on. So, uh, avoid fear-mongering. Uh, uh, pro supposed prophecies such as these are nothing more than a satanic deception in order for you to, uh, to fall right into the true Antichrist clutches. Because while you uh, pay attention to this beast computer or this, uh, or this uh, ID chip or everything, here comes the Russian Tsar, he who will finally lead orthodoxy to victory. And not like those damned anti-monarchists. And, you know, you get deceived. Satan vests himself as an angel of light. And because there are so many holy kings, so many holy monarchs, because of the holy Romanovs, that is where the Antichrist will in all probability strike. From the flank, from the rear. Not straight ahead with, a, with an inverted pentagram on his forehead. So that uh, that's my thoughts. Uh, those are my thoughts. I highly suggest that you completely avoid any apocalyptic literature. Christ said what he said in the uh, in his gospel. By the way, I will quote Saint uh, uh, Nikolai Velimirovich of uh, uh, of uh, of um, Ohrid. He's one of my favorite saints, and he said that Re uh, Revelation is the book of our life. Um, each one of us will face his his or her own antichrist, his or her own uh, false prophet, his or her three demonic spirits shaped like frogs, his or her harlot of Babylon. Uh, because when you uh, look at uh, look at it, for example, look at the martyrs of Armenia. Uh, there's literally no difference to them whether they're being killed by Ottomans or by antichrist personally or Diocletian or Hitler or Stalin. Uh, or Lenin, or uh, uh, or Tito, or any you know uh, sec secular power. Uh, secular power is the dominion of demonic, 
and when uh, and sometimes God uses that power, you know, to bring Himself to bigger glory. But in general, it doesn't work like that. So be careful what you read. Uh, and whenever something is fear mongering, in in absolute one hundred percent, that is of the devil. Avoid it. Uh, when you read the Gospels, you don't have such uh, such impression. You know, Christ warns, but uh, but he is not uh, inducing panic into his audience. But that is precisely what these books do. Bye.